Hey everybody, today I'm down in Los Angeles and I've had the opportunity to get hands-on with the new Toyota BZ Compact SUV concept. This is of course part of Toyota's Beyond Zero portfolio of electrified vehicles. And although this is a concept, we should be seeing something probably along these lines over the next year or two coming out of Toyota. This is a full electric SUV and it's theoretically a little bit smaller than the BZ4X. So you, know, you might be thinking BZ3X, although we don't know just yet. Up front, we have a lot of design cues shared with the upcoming Prius for 2023, and that's definitely a departure from what we've seen in the BZ4X and some of the other SUVs in Toyota's lineup. It's really distinctive with these swoop around LED accents, that long light bar right there across the front, lots of cheese grater going on at the bottom. Obviously the production version, if we ever see one, will be different than this, but this is giving us perhaps a, an indication of where the design is going in their lineup. Now, very clearly, this is a concept because it is full of things like big wheels and big tires that we probably won't see on the production version. But I am intrigued by the fact that we have a relatively long hood profile and a really sleek body behind. Some of the interesting styling cues that we see here are flush mounted door handles. Also a production cue that we might see are rear door handles, pretty similar to what we see in the Prius with an electronic release on there on the inside. Moving around the back, we have some BZ logos around there, obviously full LED taillights, large hatch right back here. And then we have the new Beyond Zero logo. This is the logo that we're gonna be seeing in all Beyond Zero products, and interestingly, also the Prius, because it's a fuel efficiency focused vehicle and it's sort of kind of part of the Beyond Zero family. Of course, this one's a full EV, so we get that BEV logo there. We get some really cool LED taillights here. I hope that something along this line uh, makes it to production because this is a really neat design with all these individual elements right inside there. Lots of attention detail, just as you'd expect out of a concept vehicle, of course. Now let's take a look behind the hatch. As you'd expect out of an electric crossover concept, we have a pretty decently sized storage area back here, roller cargo cover right there, some additional storage space under the load floor, and certainly a cargo area that's a little bit smaller than we currently see in the BZ4X. This vehicle is a little bit shorter with a shorter wheelbase, but in concept form, this is actually a little bit wider than the BZ4X. So again, dimensions are gonna change as this vehicle approaches production. And we're likely gonna be seeing something more along this in production guys probably in about a year or so, obviously, all those details uh, haven't been official or anything like that, but let's take a look on the inside now. Obviously no EV would be complete without a glass roof, so we find one there on the top. And jumping on the inside, we find the most modern interpretation of a Toyota interior really ever, I think. And some cool design cues that I really hope make it to production, like this extremely curved center display. This is probably the coolest thing in here. Toyota says that they did this so that we can get a bit more screen real estate in a display that's a little bit shorter so it doesn't affect your view over the vehicle. I don't care whether we get that or whether it's just pretty darn cool. I think being cool is enough because the format of this display is really neat. It's also a really closely bonded display with a really, really thin back. That's probably not gonna make it to production because it's probably gonna be a little too delicate for kids banging on the dashboard, things like that. But let's hope that it gets somewhere close. Now, this particular uh, screen right here is just running a mock-up of the software. So obviously, you know, the vehicle's not driving down whatever city that is, but you can see how the system is gonna work. So we have sliders for things like like the climate control there. We have a home button, button to take us over to the climate control screens, things like that. Music interface buttons. There's some sort of, uh, I guess, imitation phone connected to the system now. And then you can go over here to vehicle settings and you can see the various different themes that the software will offer. This is kind of a cool touch here. So it'll change things like the ambient lighting, the themes of the displays. Obviously not all these themes are working right now, but if you kind of look back here towards the instrument cluster, the instrument cluster is also curved, although not in quite the same way as the infotainment system. This gives the display, especially for the safety screens, a bit of a 3D view as cars are moving around there on that display. Again, not fully functioning software because I'm just in a warehouse. We're not driving 38 miles an hour or anything like that. But you can see that some of the design cues in here are similar to what we find in some of the current BZ products and the Prius, I guess you'd say as well. We have Toyota's yoke style uh, steering wheel there, controls on the front, little stocks behind. Air vents were really cool and really thin in here. Lots of really interesting touches like the ultra suede interior that wraps around the dashboard. That looks like it would be an absolute bear to keep clean, especially in the country, but it does look really, really cool. Here in the center console, we have a reimagining of Toyota's shifters that they've used in other vehicles. And of course, places to put uh, two wirelessly charging smartphones. Obviously, we don't know how much of this interior is gonna make it to the production version, but we have a really slim LCD up here for the rear view mirror. No actual rear view mirror going on in this vehicle, at least in this concept car. 
I love the ultra suede accents all the way around the vehicle, especially in the headliner area. And I have to say the seats, even though these seem like they would be a bear to clean, uh, these seem really, really comfortable. And the design really kind of gives me 1980s vibe as far as this sort of marble texture going on on the ultra suede. But the seats are really comfortable, they're breathable, and they're really grippy. Kind of, again, reminds me of the 1980s there a bit. Now, also interesting on this concept, we have the latest uh, artificial intelligence assistant UI thingy, I guess you could say their version of Alexa, and they're calling this Yui for some reason. The system gives us visual feedback. There is this glowing orb right here, just be... The system gives us visual feedback. There's this glowing orb on the steering column that lights up when you engage the system. Hey, Yui. Air conditioning. And then the system pulls up the climate control screens on the center console. This is a kind of an interesting demo here. Obviously this software is far from complete because it doesn't really respond the way the final version would do. I think they just wanted to give us an idea that this system is gonna be called something other than Hey Toyota, which makes sense because they picked a name that you're not just gonna casually have in conversation in your vehicle unless you actually wanted to voice command something. That is something that is definitely a problem in, say, modern Mercedes vehicles where you and your passengers are talking about your brand new Mercedes or the Mercedes on the road or whatever, and the system thinks you're talking to it. You can also do things like engaging the autonomous driving mode. The UI system can also locate you in the vehicle so it knows that it's responding to a passenger or the driver or someone in the back seat. Then the UI is going to respond for the passenger. Obviously, the passenger won't be able to voice enable the same things that the driver will be able to enable, but you can pull up things like climate control, adjust your temperature, maybe set a new dest destination, change your infotainment settings, etc., get weather reports. That kind of stuff is going to be able to happen, and it will be a little bit more focused for the folks in the back seat in that same way. At this point, when you might see anything based on this concept is really anybody's guess, but Toyota has said that they plan on having 30 BEVs globally by 2030. That's not too far off, and that means that pretty soon we're going to see a ton of new battery electric vehicles coming out of the Toyota portfolio. If you want to know more about this, stay tuned, and of course, check out related coverage from the LA Auto Show. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the EV Buyer's Guide, all those other sort of places, and of course, stay tuned for more information on upcoming Toyota electric vehicles and Toyota electric concepts. See all of you later.